Welcome to our video report on the Davao Crocodile Park, a popular tourist attraction located in Davao City, Philippines. It is known for its collection of crocodiles and other wildlife species, as well as, well as its conservation efforts and educational program. Now let's address your question regarding the benefits and potential disadvantage of the Davao Crocodile Park. Absolutely, the Dabo Crocodile Park generally has the potential to benefit the local areas in several ways. They can attract tourists, generate revenue, create employment opportunities, and contribute the overall economic development of the region. Additionally, they can promote environmental conservation and educational initiatives, which can have positive impacts on the local community. The park has several positive impacts. Firstly, it boosts tourism in the region. Tourists visiting the park spend money on entrance fee, food, and souvenirs, which benefits local businesses. Moreover, the park popularity has led to the growth of tourism-related industries such as hotels and transportation service. Yes, while the Davao Crocodile Park can bring numerous benefits, it's important to consider potential disadvantages or challenges such as animal welfare concerns, environmental impact, and public perception. Animal welfare concerns means Crocodile Park needs to ensure the proper care and welfare of the animals in their collection. It is essential for the park to adhere to ethical standards and provide appropriate habitats, nutrition, and veterinary care for the animals. Any mistreatments or neglect could lead to ethical, ethical concerns or negativity publicity. Environmental impact, it means the establishment of a crocodile park may require the use of land and resources, which can have environmental implications. It is crucial for the park to implement sustainable practices, minimize its ecological footprints, and take measures to protect the surrounding of natural environment. Public perception. It means some in some individuals or group may have concerns about the ethic of keeping crocodiles in captivity for entertainment purposes. Public opinion regarding the park's role and practices can vary, and addressing these concerns through transparency, education, and responsible management is important. St. Peter Metropolitan Cathedral, also referred to as the San Pedro Cathedral or Davao Cathedral, is a Roman Catholic cathedral located at Barangay 2A, Poblacion District, Davao City, Philippines. Its original structure built in 1847 along what was believed to be the oldest street in Davao City, the San Pedro Street. Yes, San Pedro Cathedral benefits Davao City. First, San Pedro Cathedral is a cultural and historical landmark in Davao City, contributing to the city's identity and preserving its heritage. It serves as a symbol of the region's religious and historical roots. The cathedral attracts tourists interested in cultural and historical sites. This influx of visitors contributes to the local tourism industry, supporting businesses such as hotels, restaurants, and shops. The cathedral's architectural beauty adds to the aesthetic appeal of Davao City. It enhances the cityscape and contributes to the overall visual character of the area. The presence of a historical and cultural landmark like San Pedro Cathedral can indirectly contribute to the local economy. Businesses in the vicinity may benefit from increased food traffic and tourism. San Pedro Cathedral attracts tourists interested in cultural and historical sites. This influx of visitors can contribute to the local economy by supporting tourism-related businesses and services. The cathedral's architecture and historical significance contribute to the preservation of Davao City's cultural heritage. It stands as a testament to the region's history and tradition.
The presence of San Pedro Cathedral can indirectly benefit local businesses like nearby establishments, such as restaurants, cafes, and shops may experience increased patronage due to the cathedral's attractiveness to visitors. While San Pedro Cathedral in Davao City provides numerous benefits to the community, it's essential to recognize that, like institutions or landmark, it may have potential disadvantages or challenges. San Pedro Cathedral may require ongoing maintenance and restoration efforts, which can pose financial challenges for the local authorities or religious organizations responsible for its care. Popular tourist attractions, including cultural and religious sites, may contribute to increased traffic and congestion in the surrounding area. This can potentially inconvenience local residents and businesses. If the local economy becomes overly reliant on tourism associated with San Pedro Cathedral, economic downturns or fluctuations in tourist numbers could disproportionately impact the community that's all thank you for watching and listening our report thank you